Oh, I forgot you worked here. You'd sooner forget about me altogether, wouldn't you? Oh, come on, sir. Well, I know your mother would. She wants me dead. She's just in a state about Todd going, that's all. Oh, she's always in a state where he's concerned. Does she not think that maybe the way he is might be her fault? Well, how do you mean? Well, him being gay. You know, they say it's usually because they've got funny mothers. Just leave her out of it, will ya? It were us that made it happen, remember? Yeah, only because I was stupid enough to go back with you. Oh, clever enough. Oh, right, so she's got you thinking that now, has she? Well, I'm just... Well, just go on, get out! Do you know, I don't want to see you or any of your family ever again. Hiya. Any news? I've left messages on his voicemail. I've been waiting for the phone to ring all day. Only it hasn't. And stop waiting and it will. You reckon? I have been living here, you know. So? So I can see how close you and Todd really are. Were? He'll ring. But only when he's sorted out where he's staying. Oh, and, you know, what's going on inside his head. That might take a little bit longer. Does your mother worry about you? Hardly. I think she's forgotten she ever gave birth. Sean. Right. Why don't you make us some tea, and I'll take you out for a drink. See if we can't cheer you up. Yeah? Everything that Miss Butterby said. Well, come on, then. Oh, I'll, uh, I'll walk with you. You know, I suppose you're right about Jason. He probably got fed up and went home by himself. I mean, that's what I did. Yeah, I'm sure that's what happened. Yeah. Listen, don't let me cramp your style. If you see anyone you fancy, just tip me the wink and I'll disappear. Bit the day. <laughs> well, you never know. Oh, I'm not okay. Dignity at all times. There's no need for that, is there? No need for what, exactly? That look you gave Sarah just now. I'd have thought she was the injured party, if anybody was. It's OK. She not told you the latest? Mum, leave it. What latest? How she turned up this morning in my son's bed. Oh, not Todd, though, no. This time, she fancied a change, so it was Jason's bed that the little trollop worked her way into, with the result that Todd's gone and I might never see him again, which is exactly what she wanted, wasn't it? No, Sarah, you didn't. Oh, yes, she did. Surprised, are you, Gail? Surprised that poor, innocent little Sarah Louise could do something so darn right wicked? <laughs> do you know what? I feel embarrassed for you, Gail. I really do. I mean, the way you look down your nose at Todd, accusing him of all sorts... Well, not anymore. Because my Todd is a much better person than you or your daughter could ever hope to be. Change my mind. Going home. Whatever Madam wants. Sarah. Hi. Sarah. Change my mind. Going home. Whatever Madam wants. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Sarah. You weren't deliberate. It wasn't like she said. It, it wasn't for revenge. Yeah, but not telling me was deliberate, weren't it? Stealing him from underneath my nose and then lying your head up about it. Do you know what? I think she's right. I think you're a dirty little trollop. Oh, Sarah. I'm sorry. should be all